This is Recruitment Agency Ignition with Andy Whitehead. Helping you build your recruitment employment business fast. Fast, fast. Using digital and automation and one to many systems, tools, and inbound strategies. Hey guys, how you doing? So today's session is going to be a little bit different because we're largely known because to the outside world, we are the recruitment marketing automation specialist, the marketing specialist, the business growth specialist who show you how to use these cool tools and strategies to, to grow your business substantially and, and quickly. But today's session is something really, really special. And the reason why is this. If I could give you a strategy right now, to go out there and show you how you can speak to 100, 200, 500 clients, candidates, wherever it might be. So we call that one to many. So we give you a platform, show you how to do it, and you can then create an, uh, a funnel, an inbound funnel, whereby you've got clients and candidates. So you've got this platform. You may be speaking to 100, maybe speaking to 10,000. So for example, we've got a strategy called the Content Cannon. Um, some of our clients have gone from getting a couple of hundred visitors a month to getting over 10,000 in the very first month. But here's the thing. If you get the message wrong, you've pretty much wasted that opportunity. And also what you've done is maybe you've actually shot yourself in the foot and you've da um, damaged your reputation, you've damaged whatever it might be. So we need to be really careful about what we're dealing with. So I'm a big advocate of understanding our client and candidate avatar. So if I ever speak to you, one of the questions I'm going to ask you is, tell me who your client is, tell me who your candidate is. And when I know the avatar of your client and candidate, I know the metrics you need to be achieving, we can start to look at some form of model to make it happen. So how do we make sure we get the message right? So I'm not going to talk about content and content marketing. We'll do that in some other episodes. In fact, we've done a bit on um, previous webinars and other episodes as well. What I want to talk about is your clients and candidates. And let's talk about clients for today to keep it nice and simple and consistent. So one of the things I see time and time again, and I get it, I've had this morning, I've had two, um, two, two fast track calls, which is a, um, a 10 minute quick acceleration call where we get on the call with you and we, we identify, right, what, where are you now? What are you looking to achieve? What's the roadblocks? We can look really quickly, critique your marketing, critique your business and identify what's holding you back. And then from there we can move into setting up um, an additional um, strategy session. But on these calls this morning, both directors told me, yeah, we're different. We, we, got, a, we got a different um, position in the marketplace. One used the word USP, which made me smile. We got a different USP, which is unique selling proposition. But in fact, I hate you to say this, but I've talked now to thousands of recruitment companies over, over the years. And to you, you think you're different, but to your clients, you're exactly the same with some minor changes. So how do we differentiate ourselves? Well, I'm different because um, I get paid for XXX or I only work for 10 clients or I've been in the business 17 years. And that's a bad place to be because, in fact, your clients don't care about that. So what happens is you might start to fight on fees and you become a commodity. We don't want to do that. So you've got to remember your decision makers, your clients and candidates. And let's focus on the client piece again. I went off piece there. But most decision makers have a large left brain. So when you talk to them, one-to-one -one, or in a platform you're talking to 500 or if you automate the process and you're communicating to 10,000 you must talk to the left brain so we need to think system we need to think systematic steps to how we describe what we do so I'm not talking about content marketing I'm talking about what you do so if I ask someone right what do you do well we've been in business 17 years and we are blah 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 I'm yawning thinking about it and your clients get exactly the same but you have been told or we we all live in our own little bubbles that we are different but the fact is you're not it's like PPC SEO I get recruitment companies saying well, we've got this strategy SEO PPC okay how's it working for you not too well mm, why is that do you think well we, we started it five years ago ten years ago um, okay the marketplace has changed there's so many recruiters now they are your clients are inundated with calls emails in mails etc etc so why are you doing that strategy well it's what we've always done not what you want to be doing. 
So when you actually have a conversation, whether it be a one-to-one -one conversation or a one-to-many, so talking to 10,000, you need to have a process in place that clearly defines what you do. So you need to have a system. So it's a system, and by that I mean you need to demonstrate to the client we have a system that gets candidates. Yeah, Andy, we've got step one, we do this. Step two, we do this. Step three, we do this. Step four, we do this. So you're giving them all the features of what you actually do. And I've seen 24-step onboarding processes. I've seen 10-step. Um, well, first thing is we get a real um, detailed requisition, and we get um, we even do a face-to-face -face analysis with the client, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you're going straight into what you do. You're not focusing on the client. Remember, you're talking to 10,000 people, or one-to-one. -one. The first thing you need to do is get clear on what drives your client. What drives them to hire you? So what drives them to hire, hire you? you can fix their problem. They don't care the fact that you've been in business 17 years. They don't care about the fact you didn't come and see him face to face. They want to know, does he understand my problem? Yeah, we get Java developers on Wall Street. Yeah, but does he understand though that Java, we, it's, it's the real problem we've got is Java 7 to Java 8 upgrades and that Java developers tend to move because they get offered an additional $10 an hour and we're finding that the retention rate is four to five months. Does he really understand the real problem that's going on? Or is he just telling us he can come and give us a face to face meeting to get our requirements? So we must always focus on the problem to start with. Every time you communicate with your marketplace, you must focus on the problem. Your clients do not care that you've been in business 17 years. Your candidates do not care that you're, you placed 25 people last month in so and so and so. They want to know, can you fix their problem? So what is the problem for your client? What is the problem for your candidate? The problem for your client is not, oh, I really wish, I, I need a recruiter. I need a recruiter who can get me 10 placements next, next month. That's my real problem. That isn't their problem. What keeps them awake at night? That isn't their problem. What's the implications of not having that candidate on site in, in, in the next 10 days, next 10 weeks? What's the outcome of that? That's the real problem. Needing a Java developer on site, that isn't the real problem. The real problem they've got at the moment is we've, we can get Java developers on site, but they're leaving after four to five months because they're getting offered an additional $10, $20 an hour down the road at whatever bank. So when you speak to your clients, you must go through a process. You must demonstrate you have a system to bring on board candidates. And the first part of the process is getting clear on what the problem is. Now, there's a seven-step system to actually... Well, there's actually a seven-step framework for creating your own system, your own recruitment agency system. And when you speak to a client, you should demonstrate that your system delivers the candidates. It delivers the candidates. But the first part of your system must be identifying the problem. The next part must be identifying what the fix is, the prescription. The next part of your system should demonstrate this is the outcome that your process delivers. The next part should demonstrate the logistics and the implementation. And there are three more blocks involved. But the learning from this today is when you send out these emails, when you send out your communications to clients, read your email again. Are you focusing on the problem for your client? Or are you focusing on what you want? When you get that shift, but it's so important because one-to-one, -one, we've got members who've, who've used this strategy and taken on board our templates and have picked up um, large, large contracts. Um, I mentioned Johnny. Johnny Walker in, in, in London picked up a contract in, um, in, um, in the city four boardroom roles and he puts it down to this process focus on the problem first so really dig deep in what's the problem for our marketplace but the reason why it's so important in terms of what we do because what we do is not only helps you one to one but if you're going to pick up any tips off these podcasts or off our webinars or indeed if you speak to us if you're doing this to a thousand people, ten thousand people, then you automate it so it's automated for the next five years and it runs in the background while you're on holiday. You want to make sure it's pretty much on point, don't you? You don't want to be automating something that's not on point. So you must have the content on the money. The content must be perfect. It must hit your client or candidate. So with that said, I'm going to wrap up this course. I think what I'm going to do in the next uh, 
next week or so is do another session or two on um, on content. Um, as always, you know where to get us, recruitmentmarketinginternational.com. Hook up with me on, on LinkedIn. For those of you who've asked, um, you can check me out on, on LinkedIn. You can hook up there or go to um, recruitmentmarketinginternational.com. There's a little um, chat box. Um, type your questions in there and then we'll get back to you. Okay, guys, speak soon. As always, go out there, make it happen. Think strategically. Think long-term, but implement quickly. Take care. Bye-bye. Discover how to build your recruitment employment agency using one to many automation and inbound strategies before anyone else in your market specialization. Check out RecruitmentMarketingInternational.com. Okay, guys, speak soon. As always, go out there, make it happen, think strategically, think long-term, but implement quickly. Take care. Bye-bye. Discover how to build your recruitment employment agency using one to many automation and inbound strategies before anyone else in your market specialization. Check out RecruitmentMarketingInternational.com. RecruitmentMarketingInternational.com.